guys I just thought I'd make a short video it might be a long video actually because I'm, I'm going to take this system that was gifted um, and I've refurbished I'm going to take it completely apart uh, and then put it all back together again this is an AMD system AM2 plus I think it's uh, an Athlon 2 I can't remember the exact name of the processor, a dual core processor. It's an old XP system, but I've put, it takes four gigs of RAM. So, and I've put the, I've put two laptop drives in RAID 0 to give it a bit more performance. And it can take Windows 7, no problem. It would, it would be grand for somebody, a student, or uh, somebody just wanting to do light stuff, emails, go on Facebook, great for that. So I'm gonna take this thing to bits. Uh, first thing I want to do, start where my hand is, just take the SATA cables out and take them out and the tools I'm going to need, put them over there for now I'm going to need a screwdriver but I'll need this for putting certain bits back together but for taking it to bits I'm going to use this thing, you know, speed it up uh, it's only a 12 volt drill, so it's not that powerful. Um, I'm going to need some of this because I'll disturb the thermal compound. So I've got some alcohol for cleaning. With that, I've used this thing to spread the thermal compound, you know, and some earbuds just to clean up the CPU. And the cooler. So I'm just going to take the cables out. That's the first thing I'm going to do. Just take all the cables out. Um, I'm just taking off the taking off the DVD drive cables. Put that to one side. Taking off in the corner there. For any close-ups, I'm going to use my iPhone just to get close in. I'm sorry this is not a high-end system, I don't want to take my own system apart but it's, it's the same difference, you know, it's just like most parts are the same, they go in the same way, the RAM goes in the same way the PSU goes in the same way, so this is the CPU cable right in the corner there, let's four pin this board take the cooler, four pin cooler cable, PWM cable off oh that's tight okay and then take all these front port umbilicals off so you've got the audio in the corner there usb front usb uh, this has actually got it's interesting it's got a block an asus board so i don't need to just dis disturb that at all and i've got the big 24 pin motherboard power that's off so that's basically the PSU free and the case free of the motherboard. So let's take the let's take the screws out of the PSU and we'll put these to one side. It saves the screwdriver, doesn't it? Probably not the recommended tool, but it'll be fine. Well, there's a wee ledge there, I could probably just leave it on the ledge there. Put that down. It's got a magnetic tip, this screwdriver, so it's handy. Someone's stopping this coming out. What's that there? Oh, yeah, it's my hand. So I'll put this to one side for now. Okay, and then we can take the motherboard out and I will use, actually I'll take the hard drive bit out, give me some space. This is one of those double adapters of 3.5 to 2.5, which is pretty good. Um, enabled me to get two 2.5 laptop drives in here. I did have, um, an SSD in here but it's it, it was stressing the CPU out because it was just too much 
with too so much speed. Um, it was writing and reading and writing too quick for the CPU, and it was the fan was going berserk. So that's that twin bay there. And quite an interesting thing. Um, it's got two 160 gig laptop drives just to put it in RAID 0. It's a good thing. Pop that over there. And we've got the optical drive, I'll take that out, take all the ancillaries out. Screw loose. Okay, take the side panel off, get to the other side, because I think the optical drive, I've noticed one thing about optical drives, it's better to put as many screws in it as you can, because I know a lot of people don't use them these days, but if you do use them, they can make a, they can vibrate quite a bit. I noticed it does, this one does, I know it's just the optical drive being a bit old, I don't know. Get the side panel off. I had to leave a cleaned all this, it gets dusty quick, doesn't it? Right, so I just need to get this screw out. It's only one screw, so I, I would put more screws in. I would put like two or three in the other side of this. Might seem like a lot, but. Uh, it's not, it stops it vibrating. That just pops out, pop that to one side. Then we'll get the motherboard out. Okay, I'm not going to use that big screw pan for the motherboard. That would be good. Let's get all these cables out of the way. Pop all those cables through there. This PC was working, so I hope it works when I put it back together. <laughs> Should do. Interesting to see if these are loose because I haven't had the motherboard off. Ah, they're loose, see. I want to put them to one side because keep them separate. Another screw, another screw there. They're very loose. Just have to keep on it. <coughs> keep a hold of this motherboard. Shouldn't go very far anyway, but you don't want it to fall. Okay, so six standoffs there. Let's just pop this out there, I'll show you. There we go. Any dust behind it? No, no dust, it's not bad. It's alright. There'll be a bit of dust down there. I'll give the case a bit of a wipe out. Got to find somewhere for the motherboard. I'll move them screws and pop over here. Out of the way, because I want to do some work on the motherboard. I want to show. Um, how to fit an AMD CPU. So put all the screws over there, all the screws I need. Okay, I'm just going to give this a little wipe if I've got a cloth here. Got a cloth, cloth handy. Um, so I've got this tool. It's a five mil socket. I think it's five mil anyway. Let's have a look. Yeah, five mil. Uh, yeah, it's on ratchet. Yeah, they're all loose. Not too tight with these. These cheap cases can be. You can strip them out just as quick as look at them. Just need to nip them off. But they were all loose. Everything was loose. Um, and here as well. I need to get the duster again. There's a bit there that needs a bit of dusting. And this one's well, this is well out. I don't know if you can see that. That's well out there. It's like, and let's see me screwing it in. Three or four threads hanging out. I just nip it up. I just nip it up. Not too tight. I'll get the duster again. Do them. Oh, and I forgot to mark where the. I think the bottom hard drive was SATA one. Yeah, it was. I marked it in my mind before, so I did. I did think about it before then. Oh, and 
you have to kind of watch that. While I'm here, I'll just do the other side in case. Just give it a wipe. Just give it a I'll put it to one side and we'll have a look at the motherboard. Mobo, the Mobo. Don't need that big thing. Right, motherboard. Alright, that was the best way to do this. Um, like that maybe? I don't know. I don't know if I can zoom. That's loose, so I will first take this off. Take this off. They do get tight. You just kind of get a kind of a, a suction going. That's going to need. If I if I put it on the same way, it maybe not need cleaned. I don't see why it should. The AMDs are um, different to. We'll have to figure out a way of doing this so you can see it. Because at the moment you can't really see it very well. And turn this motherboard around. And we want to pop it up there. So we get the iPhone going. I'll bring this camera a bit closer. Let's uh, zoom in with this. I'm using a webcam. The reason I'm using a webcam is because I don't have a camera at the moment. Um, I might be able to see that. The difference between uh, I'm going to get messy doing this. If I'm careful, I'll be all right. The difference between an Intel and AMD is that AMD CPUs they have the pins on the CPU. I don't know if you can see that. See all those little pins? Okay. And do you see that little gold arrow? There. There's also an arrow on the motherboard. I don't want to put the CPU down because it's covered. See the, little, see the arrow there? Yeah. Just line those two up. Where are we going? Cameras are strange things, they just seem to point where they want. I'll show you what they want, it's difficult to kind of get your mind around it. So we get the arrow, I'm not trying to take it too messy because there's thermal compound all over this. But there's a guy asking Kerry Holzman to make an AMD video, but Kerry predominantly works with um, Intel's. You have to be careful with these pins. The Intels have the pins on the motherboard um, and it's slightly safer because you can put a cap on the on the, the motherboard and then the pins are fine. But with these, you can be so careful. I've, I've, I've had them before where the pins have been bent and I've had to straighten the pins out. Tiny little tool I've got. Um, tiny, tiny little tube sort of thing. And you can just gently straighten the pins. When you snap a pin, that's it. CPU's gone, so you just line the arrows up and drop it in, and that's it. Give it a bit of a wiggle, that's it. Dropped in hands, covered in thermal compound, and then lower this little lever. There's no, not like a, an Intel, when you put the lever down, it kind of puts a, a thing over the top, uh, what you call it, a bracket, a framework that holds. CPU down. This doesn't. It just closes this white thing, which tightens the pins up, and that's it. There's no real force there. So that's how you install an AMD CPU. You just line those arrows up, and it pops. And it only pop in one way because if you saw on the bottom of the CPU, there was little squares, little rectangles, and they have to line up as well on there. But if you follow the arrows, you won't go wrong. And then installing this, if we try and do it the same way as it come off, um, where did I have this then? So that the thermal compound lines up. I do believe 
I have it like that. I don't think I, yeah, I had it like that because I had the lever at the at the bottom of the motherboard. So if I pop that on, I don't need to clean this up because it's the same stuff. So you just line these two tabs up. See the little tab at the back. And the little tab on the on the motherboard lines up with this. This is a bit fiddly sometimes just getting into place. Helps if that's back. Yeah, put that back. This little DV here has to go back. Like in the in the in the open position really. Okay, and then just it is a bit of a fiddle, but if you fiddle about there you go, it's on. It's on there. See it's on there? If you see that very well, I'll put it on here. It's on in both bits. Yeah, I had it in I actually had it in the closed position. Should be down, the lever should be down that way. And that's the, the open position. So if you look closely there, see that it's kind of that metal was clipped to the plastic on the motherboard and it's the same on the other side where the lever is and then make sure to stay in and pull that lever across and gently just pull it across and that's the CPU in place it doesn't wiggle about but that's normal and then pop this little pin where it says CPU fan uh, plug the fan in okay that can just hang on because it's not doing any harm the memory I'll take one stick out uh, so these tabs just come back it's good to touch metal okay we'll get rid of the anti-static and if you're paranoid about it his memory is quite static sensitive Use a strap. I think I've got a strap somewhere. Have a look, I've got another tool bit down here. Might put a strap in it. Things aren't as static sensitive as they used to be. Well, the strap's not in there. I don't know what I've done with it. I never use it, so usually it's okay. I do not have one. I promise I do have one. Where did I put that then? Let's have a look. Where has that gone? I don't know, but if we're careful, ground ourselves with the metal, or with the case, the case is just down here. Ground ourselves with the metal. Take this out gently by the corners, and you see the little groove in it. That's to line up with the groove on the motherboard in the, in the slot. Make sure it's lined up and uh, turn it right around. Yeah, and gently press down either side. Get lined up. Just make sure it's lined up. It should be. It just came out. Unless I took it out the wrong way. No, I didn't. Hold up. Yep. Press on one corner. That's what you win. Have I got it lined up? Let's have a look. Maybe I haven't got it lined up. Let's try this way. I don't remember it coming out this way. No, that's not lined up right that way. Definitely that way. Maybe I need to get some. It's just a bit stiff. I will stand up. That's it. That's it. Tucked in. Just wasn't putting enough pressure on it. So that's the CPU. How you install a CPU, an AMD CPU um, memory. Pretty simple. I'll put this to one side. 
Go for that mouse out of the way, put the stone inside and get the case. Put all that together. So you can decide what you want to put in first. Um, because this is at the top, I always like to put the PSU in um, last. Well, I'll put the optical drive in first. Just slip it in. And then get it nice and flush at the front. So it looks neat. And then line with all the rest of these panels. Right. And get a little screw. Where did I put my screws? Right. I'm going to get, um, I've got a box of DVD screws here. Little cover them. Which I just keep. Okay, look, ah, there's a little DVD screw there. See, it's a different kind of head. It's a kind of funny little head. It's a very fine screw, that. It's a fine thread on it. Maybe the camera will focus. It's a very fine thread. Not a coarse. You don't want a coarse thread on this on the on the DVDs. And I'm going to put four of these in. I'm going to use the drill. I'm going to try my drill. There's a bit of a beast to put them in, like with this bit overkill. But I'll try. I'll be gentle with it. I might cross thread it, but I think I will. It's an awful big drill for a wee job, but I'll try. If you don't try, I will put the clutch on and I'll put it on three. Clutch is on three. Let's check that screw out. Have I cross threaded it? Well, if I have, I have it's only one screw. Nope, I didn't cross thread it. Goody. I'll put another one in there because this was vibrating this uh, DVD player. And just make sure it's nice and flush. That isn't, you see. It's moved. The thing has moved. So just loosen it slightly. And then get it to where you want it. You can adjust the other side afterwards. I want it about there. I wasn't paying attention to that. And kind of tighten it up. And that noise is the clutch. And I'll go, I'll go and actually just check it, see if it's tight enough when they put the other screw in. Okay, just check them. Yeah, that's plenty tight enough for that. Three's a good position. Yeah. I'm happy at the front, very happy with it at the front. And I'll pop another two screws in here. I just like them to be all the same. I don't know why I like to be all, for them to be all the same. If I can make them all the same, I will. Um, I'm not sure why. Maybe it's OCD, I don't know. I doubt it. The last time I checked, it was okay. I haven't checked for a while though. <laughs> Sorry, bad jokes. Right, make sure it's lined up. It needs to, yeah, it's all right. And just start the screws off sometimes. You can, you can put them all the way in, but something like this, because it is moving around, I have to kind of put some pressure on there to get it nice at the front. And then just tighten this back one down and that'll keep it nice and straight. That it nice and straight. Nearly. Oh. Oh, it's like a half a mil or something. The hair's burnt. It's not right. So I'll take it. <laughs> Just loosen it off slightly. Right, let's move and see. I think there would be nice. Just keep put pressure on it so it's. Just line it up. I like it to be nice. I like them to be like right like. So there is about right. And that should be okay now. 
Um, that's perfect now, it's completely flush. This is a really good drill bit on here. You can get real cheap drill bits, but this is a good one. It's not gonna uh, get mashed up too quickly. I advise to get good ones. Okay, so got that in. And we'll put that hard drive, those hard drive bays in. Um, they can go in anywhere down here. I noticed the, or I, I kind of thought about it, or I heard that they can get a lot of shock at the bottom. So I like to put them up here as far as I can get them. And you can actually, you can put it either, any of these will do. Um, anywhere that will tighten up. See how it kind of, there's, no, there's only one screw hole there, so that's no good there. Um, there we go, we've got, uh, no, there's no screw hole there either. Ah, there we go, we've got screw holes there, see? Screw holes. And these are a coarse screw. I'll put these DVD ones away. Um, and they're actually a case screw. But they're smaller than a case screw. I think I've got some somewhere. Yeah. I just put them to one side, the hard drive screws I call them. Because they're actually shorter. And if I'll get a case screw and I'll show you. Okay. Um, I'll show you the difference in length of them. They're different styles as well. Uh, I'll try and get all the same. Get four of the same. That's a different style. Just going to do the same. So if somebody sees your work, they go, you did a good job of that. That's different. Ah, there we go. Well, I'll show you the difference between a case. And some of them you get have got, um, screwdriver. we've got little washers on them just for, I don't know, vibration, I suppose. Yeah, it's got a little washer. I bought them for a while with little washers on them. But I don't use them now. I didn't see that it made any difference. And I need four of them, two for either side. I want to put all the, the right amount on. Just gives, gives you peace of mind. But I'll show you the difference in length of the two screws. That's the that's the length of the, the hard drive screw. It's not so critical now, but it used to be. So I'm told. And I'll show you a case screw. I'll just get one off from over here. That's a case screw. You see the difference, quite a big difference in length of it. I don't know if I've got another screwdriver just to hold this thing. Uh, I have, but it's not magnetic, I don't think. For fall. See the difference in length? So that's the one I need, that's the case screw. Well, you can use it, but I'd rather use the right thing. And you can pop these in with the machine as well. Uh, the labour saving device. We don't have to line this up. Just put it in the hole. I don't tighten it all the way just yet. Actually I don't know if this is the coarse one or not. Just check it. Yeah it is. Because it is a hard drive caddy, it's not actually a hard drive, so it would it would have taken the long case screws, I don't know what I was thinking there. Anyway, it's good practice. That's that. I don't I don't tighten them all the way down just yet. And then two on the other side. Maybe I shouldn't have tightened that down. Because sometimes if you tighten them too hard then you can't get the other you can't get the other screw in it uh, moves the hole on the caddy too much so I'll just check them actually just to see the screwdriver just to check the torque on that maybe it's shutting off too soon no it's not it's perfect three is a good position and then these two can be tightened up. 
It's a bit overkill this big drill. But it's alright. Does it matter? That's that in. Now we can put the motherboard back in. Put them cables out of the way. Okay, and the motherboard is pretty simple. IO shield, I nearly forgot. That goes in 99 times out of 100 with the audio at the bottom. And it just clips in. It's a friction fit. <coughs> pops in oh, there we go and make sure the little tabs or those little metal differs aren't sticking in or they're not going to get in the way of a port that's just nasty when they get in the way of a port and while the water's come back out um, Kerry just did a video on that and uh, you had to take the motherboard you had to take the whole system the motherboard out, all the cables off virtually apart from he left the SATA cables on and it was, but there's no shortcuts to it he's right so this pops in and we know there's six standoffs but there was no problem before we're just this is just an installation it's important the standoffs and we look on the motherboard the motherboard just there and then um, these screws on the outside they're not applicable because they've got these things in which I don't know why they've got them in because they don't do anything but I'm just going to leave them there um, the sit screws we were interested in is these ones and there's some um, where are they? There's one there and there's one down here. Okay, there. Yeah. One across there, one there, and one up here, and that's off center. And it's matched on the actual case. So this just pops in. We'll put it into the IO shield. I'm doing it stand up. Just pop it into the IO shield. Maybe we shouldn't put that hard drive carry on just yet. I'll put this in the other way because that hard drive guy is getting in the road. Pop in like that, an angle, and feed it back the way. And then you just got to line these things up with the IO shield and check the IO shield to see if anything is, any of those little grounding straps are being a pain. Okay. Actually push into a port. We'll just push this motherboard so we line the holes up. We'll have a look at this, see if there's anything uh, misbehaving. There is that one there is misbehaving. That has to go in there, there we go. That's it now. And just make just take time with this and make sure they're all lined up. And there's nothing fouling anywhere. That's see that one's fouling as well. Very important that. I'll just pull this out a little bit. Pull this tab back. That's it. Try it again. And it's, it's important to take your time with this bit. Just get push this. Let's see that one's ground in as well. Because I'm doing the standing up, but I'll push them back. Those little tabs. Try again. It's infinitely easier if you've got the lit case lying flat, but it is possible to do it. See that's sticking in there, the, that uh, port there. So I'll get that out of the way. That should be it now, is it? Yeah, everything's behaving itself now. I think. Let's have a look. Just check it all out. Take your time and check it all to see if anything is going into a port. 
and nothing is. They're all clear and they're all through. So I'm happy with that. And the holes inside are lining up. So I put them screws to one side, I just get a screwdriver. And I put one screw in and that'll make my life very easy. Um, I put a screw in at the top there where you can see it. Thank goodness for magnetic screwdrivers, I tell you. Pop that in there. At least the, the motherboard's getting a tighten up, you know, because they were all loose. Let's tighten it up. Let's see, I can let go of it now. And we'll just check that again, see if anything's come through. Nope, they're all fine. Yep, happy with that. And it's just a case of popping these screws in. Mm, something settled itself down there. <laughs> Maybe a good idea just give us a little bit of a wiggle. Make sure it's all in properly, yep. Okay, and then I'll put another screw in. I don't want to use the electric drill for this it's just asking for trouble I'm not experienced enough with electric drill okay. and then we'll put the cables on I notice this board's got ID that's how old it is but it'll do it'll build. it's not going to be an expensive machine to buy and it'll be good for Facebook and emails and stuff um, just light stuff, you know. Anybody want a cheap computer and there's a screw underneath there. And I got it for for nothing. Have to be kind of gentle with these. Yeah, working with electrical components, bare, you know, a circuit board at the end of the day. And that one at the top there is offset, isn't it? This last one here, and it just pops in. And what's left to go in is the, C is the PSU. Just to make sure that's tight. That's tight. And that's pretty straightforward. This is a top mount of PSU, as they all used to be. That just slides in, and these take case screws. The PSU takes case screws, okay. And I've got case screws over here. I took them off. I'll just use reuse these. And I just so happened to bring four over. Isn't that good? So I pop one in. And let's see if I can hold it. Let it go. Yep, I can let it go. And I'll just pop a screw in and I won't drop it. It helps if you can not drop them. Left handed as well, eh? Not bad. There we go. Get the screw in there. Okay. Groovy. Right, where's that screw gone? Not that I need it, but I just want it. Try and find it. Where's that screw gone? There's a screw loose about this hoose. There it is, found it. Now I'll get the bad boy out. Oh. You have to kind of push against it. Did I not say? And then it's just a case of fucking the rest, and then they'll cable it up, which is the fun part.
Marvellous. I'll just check them. Make sure they're all tight. Ooh. Yeah, they're well tight. Then pop these cables back through. It's just an old case, there's no cable management, there's virtually no cable. But all AMD CPUs are the same. They go in the same, all the pins are on the on the actual CPU itself, which is um, interesting. Right, where shall we begin with the cables? Well, we'll put the CPU cable in, the uh, CPU power, which just goes into that connector there. And it's keyed. There's a little catch on the actual uh, motherboard connector. The connector on the motherboard, and then there's a, a latch there. Just line them up. Can only go in one way. That's it. That's it. And give it a little tug. Tiny little tug. And that's it. In. Okay. And then we've got another one. Big 24 pin. Which goes into the 24 on the motherboard. It's keyed as well. And the key's on the right hand side in this case. Okay, so we just line that up. Can only go one way as well. Yeah, not too hard with these because maybe put some force behind the motherboard as well because the motherboard is just kind of hanging there. And I remember I had trouble getting this out. I think that's it in any way. So look. Ah, uh, see, it's it's uh, it's been difficult that bit. Pull it back out. I think that's it. In. Excuse me a minute while I just pull it out because it's uh it can split this. You can split this uh, twenty-four pin. See how it splits into. That's causing the problem. So you have to line them up and keep kind of keep a hold of that. I think most CPU power pins are the same. Maybe not the modern C uh, PSU or PSUs. Sorry, they kind of they split. Most of them split, but maybe the modern ones don't. I'll just try again. Not too hard with it because it's the, hang the motherboard's just hanging there. There's nothing to stop any damage. I think that's it now. I think that's it now. You just have to take your time with it. Make sure it's properly plugged in. See how the, that board's flexing with me? Because there's nothing to stop it flexing. I'll just check that's in alright. Look on the other side, you can see that catches. See, it's really sharp behind there. Wow, they're sharp. Just make sure, yeah, that's in. No problem. Next, we can hook up. Use a SATA power, and they just pop in to the SATA power on the, the hard drives. Just kind of just discern which is longer and which is shorter, and you can you know, make sure you get top and bottom. And they just plug in. You can only go plug in one way. It's then plugged in. We can put uh, DVD power, which is this the same, just keyed and it only goes in one way, there we go. Now we've got the audio, front audio, which is right down in the corner, it's, it says HD audio, which is this is, and it's keyed as well. There's a block missing, see the pin missing, hole missing, and it's corresponding where that uh, blank is, there's a pin missing on the board and it just goes in like that. Just goes in, pops in. You just kind of make, quite stiff these, you just kind of give them a wee bit of a push. This has got four USBs in the front, this is the front USB. So just pick one, for sake of cable manager, which is the last one. It's keyed as well and it's, it's block this pin missing is on the edge so you just line it up 
pop it in. And they do take quite a lot of pressing to get in because they're, they're very stiff or a good fit anyway. And then this block's pretty straightforward because it's got the actual um, the Asus block on it. It's pretty straightforward. You can just see where it's to go. Um, if you look at the actual pins, bring this forward a bit. If you look at the actual holes, and let's line the holes up with the pins on the motherboard. With if you've got this kind of block, which is I have. I think I've done another video showing you how to wire up front port umbilicals. But for now, I'll just pop this on where it's keyed. Is that where it's to go? No, I've got it the wrong way around. That's it. Head upside down. These blocks are quite a good thing. Speeds things up. Yeah, that's it. That's it in. And it's just the SATA data cables to go on. That's for the optical drive, that red one. two black ones for the uh, hard drive data. Now they're in RAID 0 so uh, the bottom one was SATA 1 because ASUS does to 1 to 6 or 1 to 8 whatever you've got 1 to 10 but Gigabyte do uh, 0 to start at 0 so the bottom one and the it's keyed as well. You can see there's a key there. There's like an L, and it's the the corresponding the, the mirror to that. It won't be the mirror. It's like the the male and female, isn't it? This is the female, and it's going into a male. Uh, so that was on SATA two. The top one was on SATA two. It clips in. You hear that click? I don't have the click in on the on the hard drive, just he listens here it clicks. Yeah, it clicked in. And that is nearly it. And I like to put the optical drive mm -hmm. on the last SATA because and I put the L up at the top because it just looks neater. Okay, and then I pop this down and I put it on the last SATA. And that's it all wired up and just make sure everything's out of the way is that going to get in the fan no, not realistically it won't and just check all your cables is that going to pull out give it a little tug that's not going to pull out checked out already that's not going to pull out these will pull out so i wouldn't tug on them they, but they're in these are all in nice and neat and it just remains to be fired up hopefully i've got these cables the right way around i've got this all in all right and it doesn't gonna isn't gonna blow up so I'll get rid of all these little tools just quick that's the cleaning department which I didn't use okay hopefully it doesn't fall get rid of this big boy the big drill my screws put the phone over there is it off yeah I think I put it on uh, airplane mode I don't call it so disturbed. Where's the oh, there it is. So I just plugged in the Ethernet. This is already all installed, I've got Windows on it already. I think it just needs a bit a little bit of updating. Um, power cable last, where's my mouse and keyboard? Mouse and keyboard are over there, so I'll get them. Make sure it's off. Plug it in. And see, put the mouse and keyboard in to see if it will fire up, and I can do things then. Now that hasn't taken long. I'm not sure how long it has taken, but it's not long to completely strip a computer right back and then reassemble it all. Well, granted, I didn't put thermal compound on but it didn't need it in this case 
it's not a high performance machine don't need to be that fastidious okay I have to turn on that and then let's see if it boots somewhere that's going out into the the raid yeah it's going to raid utility oh well, it's asking me to prompt me to go into raid is windows going to load front port umbilicals are working yeah windows is loading up i didn't notice that the dvd flight came on but once it's booted i'll check that is it quiet enough no 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 cables in the road there's no cables in the way I did have an SSD, like I said, I put an SSD in here, but it was just stressing the CPU out. It's too old in the system. It was a SATA 6 SSD, it could have been a slower one, it might have helped it. Um, Windows is taking a wee while, maybe because it's detecting things, I think. Things have changed. <laughs> As you can see, it, the system works. Um, he says look yeah let's sweep it into a desktop eventually I think because it's been messed around with it so much it's just taking its time to boot it's not usually taking that long there we go now just it's like I said it's just a bare system yeah it's installing driver software so it want a restart uh, and so Windows 10 update there and the, the hard drive I had even initially when it came and I got it I put I just formatted it I didn't even mess around with it I just formatted the hard drive I had XP on it and I put uh, Windows 7 on it but it wouldn't work right it was updating no problem uh, but I tried to put uh, optional updates which were uh, driver updates for the graphics and it wouldn't take it would not take the graphics card uh, the graphics driver so I thought something wrong here um, and I upgraded Windows 10 but it wouldn't upgrade properly so I ran Crystal Disk Info and the hard drive showed up as, as corrupt so bad sectors so I just took the hard drive out and binned it and I had these two Exactly, exactly the same laptop drive. So I just put them in RAID zero just to keep it, just to make it run a bit better, a bit faster. Eleven optional updates. I'll just check quickly for updates. Anyway, this has been uh, fun to do. I enjoyed filming it, and I hope the film works out okay. And I hope. Um, anybody who's wondering about AMD CPUs saw how just slightly different nothing else is different uh, Intel CPUs install differently but every other part installed exactly the same so I hope you've enjoyed this I'll just turn this video off now if you like my videos please uh, like and subscribe them it helps me out enormously um, so thanks for watching see you later guys <laughs>